Hey, what's up, everyone? So, today I want to show you how to do a standalone install style of the uh, Shooting Gallery Blamcon game, as well as grabbing the reshade border and how to set that up. I showed this video previously using Launchbox and part of it as an add on to Uncle Rick, but this is going to show you how to do it just as a standalone. So, if you never followed, anything i've done you should still be able to use this method if you are you know you want to play the gun or especially if you're a sitting user and you want to bring a border up on there that will always be with the game anytime you play so just follow along and i'll get you set up okay uh first of all you need steam that's where the game's at next go to your storm or i'm sorry go to your store and just type in shooting gallery Oh, and the game is free. Now, what I do like about the game, it is a, a great game to use to uh, test out your gun's accuracy uh, within the game and your gun. It is very uh, pinpoint to where it shoots at. And it's a very simple, fast game. So if, if you're having trouble with some of your games, because a lot of the game issues when it comes to... Uh, uh, accuracy is really just part of the emulator itself or the game itself and not your actual accuracy on your gun because you got memory especially you're playing arcade games you know they want to take your quarters so it's not all going to be perfect and this game is about as perfect on a game as you can get so if your shots are good on this game then the issue lies within the emulator and not your gun Okay, so anyways, we have the game pulled up here. I already have it downloaded on my system, but you'll just come across a, a download bar. And once you do, then you can just uh, double check it, go to your library, uh, find it right here, or wherever it is. And here it'll probably say install. It takes like literally two minutes to install, if you want that. And then you can just hit play to test it out. But as far as that goes, now reshade. And reshade is really simple on its own. So you'll just pull it up. You can type in reshade in your reshade in your bar up here. And that should bring it up. There you go. So you'll see the reshade with a little circle. Let's go to home if it doesn't take you here. And this is the one that you want. You want to hit download. Uh, you want to download reshade as 611. You could probably do that as well, but most people just use this. <laughs> yeah, and of course, if you get that, if everything is fine with reshade. So you can just use another browser or you can just bypass this. Yeah, keep anyways. All right, hold up. If I if I could, I would just delete my defender. Okay, so I got it to work. I just had to use a different defender. So FYI, if you do get that message, just use a different browser. There's nothing wrong with reshade. It's completely safe. Okay, so even Google gave it to me by just put run anyways. Okay, so anyways, you want to have the screen right here. I just want to pop up and you're going to hit browse. And then we're just going to look for the Steam game BlameCon. So let's go wherever you have it saved at. And I think mine all go into C. Which I do need to change that because for beefier games, it could take up a lot of my memory. It'll be program files x86. Go to Steam. Then Steam apps after that. And then I believe common. Alright, then got the uh, BlamCon shooting gallery. And then right here on the uh, shooting gallery, you can just click on it. Hit open. Now this next part is very important. Uh, make sure you hit direct X 10, 11, 12. Um, if you don't, it's not gonna work. I already have it on mine, so I'm just going to do it as fresh. 
All right, now I moved all my shaders from there. So we'll do this again. X11, 12. And it's going to pop up like this. Now, all these will give you a different set of shaders that other users have created. I'll just randomly pick another one to go with this and show you. So, but the main one that we do want is Sweet FX by CJ, and that's going to bring up our borders layer. And I don't know, let's just toss this one in here just to see what options they have. It's a lot of good ones. All right, it's going to take a few minutes, hit finish, and that's it. Now you can just go ahead and launch your game. All right, and just hit play. All right, and here we go. Now that border is not going to pop up automatically for you, but what you will do is come to home. You're going to skip tutorial. I already have all these checked, but I don't want none of these checked. I just want to show the CU as clean as it can be. All right. Oh, and always hit home to exit and also save it. So a few quick notes. Um, uh, that was loud. Okay, so a, a few quick notes on this game. To get rid of the uh, crosshair, you'll hit your mouse middle button. Let's get back into it. Yeah, see how... So that's how you get rid of your crosshair mouse middle. Up here, you can just restart your game, also mess with your sounds. Uh, of course, you'll need to reload, so all you need to reload, which will be a right click. Okay, now let's get into the uh, reshade part. So, this is your home button. And, uh, sand users, you'll just want to go to your border. You'll bring this up. Now, it's not going to look like that to start with. I'll show you what it looks like by default. So you're going to have these letter boxes. It's going to look that way until you mess with these numbers. So let's go ahead and change your color to white. Now start changing it, and now we have that square border. And I don't know, I just leave it at 20 to be safe. You can go bigger if you want. You can go down to 15 or 10 if you want. It's just going to depend on your environment and your TV. Now, if that's all you wanted to watch on this video, you can go ahead and just end it right here. And I appreciate you for watching this far. This game is good to go. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to go through some of these reshade effects and show you the difference that some of these can make. And you can just change how it looks. So, we have some surface player. Let me get this off and actually get the game going. All right, so we have some surface blur that doesn't really do much. Let's see, film grains don't do anything. Some of these you just can't tell. It goes on a game for game basis. Um, the HDR one I do like. It kind of takes off a bit of the of the um, light brightness overcast. You go monochrome if you just want to play black and white. Installed is pretty cool. Oh, and always just hit your home to get out and get back in there. Technicolor is usually good too. So I got that. Now that one brightens it up a bit more. It'll be too bright though. That one. That one. Adaptive sharpness. Let's go to night vision. I saw one called night vision. Oh. The model ones are okay, I guess the mode. Got some motion blur. Uh, I know I saw night vision on here. Or maybe I didn't. I'm just going crazy.
Oh, advanced CRT is pretty cool, or it can be in certain games. All these computer games, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but if you are running a game that's really pixelated, you can try advanced CRT. Alright, so this one I just want to check out, Night Vision. So if you want to go uh, Black Ops style on this game, there you go, you have your Night Vision right here. I don't know why you would do that, but I thought you pretty cool. Okay, well, anyways, I hope this helped y'all out and get a, and also get a little bit better understanding of what you can do with the reshade. Like I said, there's loads more you can do with this. So, um, do uh, try it out and might even improve the quality of some of your games. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Thank